All right, welcome back to PHP Route Front End Development. We have been using Blog as a case study, and as far as we have gone, we are able to make this where we started with the navigation bar, the search bar, the categories, the banner with carousel, the title, the skin, and finally, not finally, we are here. We are coming to make some list that will be in the below. That will be below here. Some some list that will be here. That's what we are coming to do in this video. But before I start, I want to say shout out to all my friends. Thank you so much to all my lovers, to all everybody that subscribed to this channel. Anybody that is watching this thing, I just want to say thank you so much. You have been a great fan. You have been supporting. You know, I so much appreciate it. You watching this video gives me a whole lot of courage and support so there's a fan of mine that asked me a question he said how did i get this um dark skin um, theme for my code editor even though i'm using php default how did i get this and that question is what we are coming to answer right now um to get this dark theme i'm using you just have to come to this place where the root um, editor but before you can be able to get it for example we are here we couldn't have that option before you can be able to get it, you have to make sure you checked um, this custom once you checked it for for my case i've checked banner once you checked it you will get this editor and you come over to themes and you choose the list of the themes you want for my case i'm using monokai which is this one and that is also what we are using here you can decide to use um, I also like to use um, groove something something groove where is it something something like groove oh my god why am I why am I why am I okay yeah groove box I also like using this guy but when I chose it we are not seeing it the reason why we aren't seeing it is because we have to close our windows and start again for PHP to pick the theme so let me save this thing and close and then we open it again and go back to this um, we go back to this uh, good then look at this thing and edit as you can see we just take that theme immediately so i won't be closing again i would i will just maintain this theme but i will make it a big big or zoom it isn't nice to look at when it comes to learning so i'm going to close this thing but before that i'm going to switch to monokai i i am used to and close this guy again we open it again and uh, we move down to our blog blog and um, edit as you can see our monokai is working so guys let's get into what we have for today first of all we want to create a new page make sure you uncheck this so that it won't be adding up to your menu list all these things are sub page you shouldn't be having it to your menu list it should be something that you render to a page we call it sm list one all right so this sm list one we want to make it a grid um we want to come down here and make sure that all these buttons are unchecked or they are put into force this page will be a, a an adjust page and we want to set it to infinity scroll another thing we want to do is um we want to move up and enable this adjust page make sure we turn it on once we turn it on um we are done we can come over here and set it none so we come over here and, and choose the content we want to show for my case i don't want to show all these things as you know i like to I like to have my image and my headline this will have to make it image and my headline and the ID I don't like to show it okay so we come over here to our home page which most of us call um, some of us call it dashboard but it's actually not dashboard is the home page so this home page is what where you 
where we want to drag and drop our SM list. But remember, we have created a column to do to create a column. You can simply click here and move up there, select this column, and you just double click it, and the column will create it for you. So we have created a column and we we'll move down to our block block, we locate the SM list, drag it and drop it over here. Then we want to uncheck just show header. We don't want to show header, but that's for the footer. We want to show the footer and the pagination too. We want to show the pagination. The reason why we want to show the footer is because the um, if you are using uh, Ajax page that you want to say and you want the Ajax page to have a button, when you click on the button, it will load more. You have to make this thing true. You shouldn't leave it false. Okay, so. For my case, I'm using infinite scroll or infinite scroll. So I'm going to take it off. I mean, I'm going to turn it for to false. Then the pagination to I want to check it to false again. Um, the page limit, we want to make sure that it is completely empty like this. The reason why we are making it empty is because uh, we are coming to make use of this record limit. So we want to do that record limit from the page properties other than doing it from page design. All right. So having said that, um, let's preview it and see how it actually looks like. Okay. Front end zero one one two three four. All right. As you can see, you can have our image. You can see our image. You can see our title. All right, that's good. That isn't bad. We want to set this li record limit to, I want to make it eight. And it's time for us to go custom. We check it and we go zoom. Make it a bigger page and zoom inside. I don't know if you are seeing it clearly, but I want to have it like this for today. So we, um, over here with the state cool SM4, we want to remove it because we want to have a responsive screen. We say cool LG to be three, then cool MD to be four, then cool to be six. I'm sorry. Another thing we want to do over here is we want to remove this BG light. We want to put card here. And inside this card, we want to remove this part and that says P2. The animated bounce, we want to remove it. The MB3 is good, we need it. So we can cut this image X, come over here and paste it. Again, we, we want this image, we want the quality of the image to be full. You know, we want to have a good quality of image. So we come over here and set this to 3 and come over here and set this thing to 200. Okay, so um, we can go further and give it a link and also go further and give it a class. The class we want to give it is fluid and we are coming to just use this fluid for something. Again, we want to, we don't want to give it rounded, let's leave it like that. But we will come to our link and make it to go to article folder article folder inside the article folder look at a page called view and i want you to view this um record record id okay once you have made stated this record id we want to make sure that we have declared this record id by just coming here you see this record id is equal to if not empty data there is nothing here so we want to put what we want to be our record id which is data id and also we also want to do that here which is data id all right having said that we are moving forward but um i want to come over here and say code 12 okay and p0 all right like i told you let me show you the function of this fluid this fluid we want to create an s style and this style we want to make it is a css of course so we start with fluid and we want the height to be 100 percent and we want the width to be 100 percent as well so we can hit ok and preview what we have done 
all right they are saying they are not expecting this so we we had an error we got some error so what is the error what is the error where is the error coming from the error is coming from where from where all right we made a mistake here this should be a comma not a full stop and we we'll preview all right we are not seeing our image and we don't know why we aren't seeing our image so we are going moving forward to find out the reason why our image isn't showing so we have stated page html page img data this data that 300 article then so why are we not seeing our image let's remove this link this field is correct this one is there this one is there. data img is there page img is there all right let me take this guy off and let me say preview again as you can see we have started seeing our image but i don't know is it because of the link i'm sure it's not because of the link it's actually because of the code 12 we have inside the card you know you i can remember you shouldn't have a code 12 inside a card so we have restored our link here but i'm going to delete these two things i can call it card img so we preview it as you can see our image is there and it still links what of if we have articles okay so um i want us to do another thing here we made this should be articles not just article so we add s all right we are almost done moving forward here we are coming to say card body and this card body will actually give it some padding and um, inside that padding we want to do this thing we want to say test capitalize what capitalize does is it go and pick the first letter of each word and make it a capital letter and also we want to say test truncate truncate this is going to trim our test or our sentence so that we won't have a break line another thing we want to do is after doing test truncate we like to make it bold and we want to make it small and uh, we can come down here to give it a class we say this class to href and we can put a href there then we can just cut this headline headline and move it here href we can equally this is actually what we are coming to print again this thing so we can copy it but we can't just paste it here because when you paste it here the link won't be absolute it's going to add on to what we already have on the url so this is what we want to have. I want to say PHP print link and we open it and close it. Inside this print link, we want to give it a double quote and we paste these guys. Remember, we copied it from here. What this guy needs is articles, view page, record ID. All right, so inside this class, we want it to test DAC. DAC. And. Um, let's view it and see what we have all right this is the truncate i'm talking about when it's reaching to the extreme it just adds some dot 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 and we made it bold we remember we made it test capitalize this is the first let, uh, letter of this word, 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 word. and um, it made it capital letter same with this one like head the h is the first letter and it has made it in, putting it in caps so let's check if our link is working by just clicking on it and boom it actually works so we can go back and check if the image actually works click on this image boom so if the images are working another thing we want to put here before we call it a day is um you may like to put something like date created and also you may like to put something like um 
like tag so to do that one I'm just trying to be a bit faster leave class I'm small then then we can see PHP echo data the data we want to echo here is um, date created and moving downward we can give this guy mb of 2 and we come down here to say button button class btn btn or alert alert so that the color won't be so sharp we just want some light friendly color alert primary primary and rounded and btn sm because we want our btn to be small that's the meaning of btn sm and again we want to write something inside the button we say php echo um data and the data we want to echo here is actually the tag so having done that we want to say um is there any other thing we are missing no let's check it out all right as you can see the date and also you can see the tag but when you click on this 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 button is actually clickable even though it doesn't link you to anywhere so we want to disable that to disable that just type disabled before the ending of the tag just say disabled disabled all right we can still click it i don't know why we aren't disabling it this disabled preview all right we can click it again so another thing uh, before we call it a day is the date we don't want to have this kind of date because it isn't friendly at all it isn't friendly um, and we want to remove this small test because we are having a small that's how is it so having a small inside a small we make it more smaller so we remove the small and we move forward we move forward and um, we just uncheck this guy and come back to date created we want to format the link to date human and we can now view it again all right now we can we have had a guest 22nd second of august 2020 but it seems like the small is still there yeah, yeah obviously the small is still there all right guys we don't want to have it bold we don't want to have it bold it's going to be equivalent as our title so we remove this board from the mother div and we put this board inside this a class so that only the a content will have the board good so we have gotten something like this if you like we can just make this test to be muted <coughs> when we make it muted it won't be test muted the color will move from dark to something like gray all right thank you guys um in the next one we are coming to look at how to make this view page as you can see i've done it because i wasn't doing anything i think i felt like to do something so in our next tutorial we are coming to look at how to make this um this view page with these comments below so thank you and i'll catch you in the next one